Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 190 points. You get the NASDAQ off 37, S&P's off 10 and a half, uh, 16 and a half, rather. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every uh, Tuesday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter. Now, the way you get the newsletter, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content, the opening call. But I'm Mr. Basil Chapman. You hit the opening call. You hit subscribe. You can get that for one month for $128. You can get it for six months at five, which is a $173 savings. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a $541 savings. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil Chapman, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. How are you doing there? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. Interesting market, as always. Oh, yeah. No doubt, man. <laughs> no doubt. Coming into well, we're into spring, right? We'll see right. Uh, what this market is going to do. Right. So I'm showing the Dow chart, yeah, as I always do. And actually, just before I do that, I'll just show them the Chapman Wave methodology, what we're always looking for. We're looking for four higher peaks. We alphabetize them, uppercase A, B, C, D. The fourth highest peak is D. It can go higher than that, but at D, other things can happen. I always look for patterns. I think the market's made up either of a straight line move up or down or an arch or a cup formation. But that cup formation and arch formation can also have a variation, and that's where you get the lowercase h. It looks like a lowercase h where you come down, make an arch, retest the left side low. Whether you break it or you hold it, that's very important. But on the upside, you make an inverted y, and if you test the left side and break above it, you got to analyze it. And where are we right now? I'm going to show the Dow again on the left side. The Dow chart, there it is. So there's that uh, inverted Y formation. We made the high on the uh, 25th of February at 26,241. And we pull back to 25,252, 1,000 points. Rallies back up again, and it just sneaks above the left side high of 26,241. It goes to 26487 So for subscribers over the weekend, I did as much of analysis as I could on the various uh, indices. The Dow looked to me like with that doji candle, that's a little looks like a little plus sign in a leg E in the Chapman wave just above that left side high that we were talking about from the 25th. And the MACD was good, but really way, way under where it was back when it hit that high on the 25th of February. The stochastic uh, had run up, but uh, was showing a little bit of weakness. So on Monday at the open, we shorted the Dow. And the very big issue now for me is it's all very well getting into the short position. But I'm looking at the, at the market and I'm saying, OK, this is going to be very interesting. Why? The, week, the weekly chart is still very strong. We had spoken about this the other day. The XLK, which is the S&P Select Tech Spider Fund, went within two cents. I mean, how does a market ever remember where it was? Two cents I know. of the, of the all-time high back in October, 76.27, in a V-shaped pattern, goes down 24%. I mean, that's a big deal. But what does it do? It rallies back up again to 76.26. A penny below that high, it had to go two, two cents higher. It would have made a new all-time high. So this V-shaped pattern is really important. And you coincide it with um, looking at the QQQ. Look at this weekly chart. There's another V-shaped pattern. That's 187. about as good as V as you can get, too. I mean, it's, not only yeah. is it, it's, you rarely see this. Yeah. In the indexes, you can see it in stocks. I've got many charts. I used to call it a Groucho Marx eyebrows pattern. One, years ago, when I was doing an all-day webinar, well, I saw one of these patterns and said, oh, my, if I put little eyebrows on the left side and I put a big eyebrow on the right, it looks like Groucho Marx, and we called it just for fun. <laughs> but nobody remembers Groucho Marx anymore. Anyway, so think of it as a V-shaped pattern. And 187.53 on the Qs at, on the fifth of, a week of the 5th of October, Plunges 23% to 143.46, late December. And where does it go to? It goes to 185.28. I mean, this is just over two points away from the all-time high. So we've got to always look at it this way. You know, you always talk about um, um, looking at ice, uh, gapping over uh, something that is 
where you stall at a previous level. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, you know, I think there could be a little bit of a pullback here. There could be some kind of digestion, kind of build up steam to be able to go higher. So not all the indexes are the same. Not all the stocks are the same. Look at this. Akamai is a fantastic stock. It's Look how well it's done. Uh, there's another one that was sent to me just a, a few moments ago. And I thought, oh, I haven't looked at that for a while now because I can't find it. But uh, it was at all-time highs. So it's not everything. But if you look at the XRT, which is the uh, retail sector, this is not looking too good. So this is a, I like to call it a bifurcated market when you're looking at some sectors that are really doing well and others are doing poorly. That's what we're looking at here. So the Dow, Boeing, of course, is really uh, um, pushing the Dow down. But the Dow itself was looking a little bit weak. So I feel confident that at least there should be some kind of a pullback here in the Dow. But it's how the others work, uh, whether they, you know, IWM has been lagging. The um, semiconductor index goes within two points of its all-time high, another V-shaped pattern. Look at this. Same thing. 114.55 was the March high of last year. And all of a sudden, it gets to 112.90 yesterday. So... That kind of power, because it didn't go right through, because V-shaped patterns can be really powerful if they break the left side high, that, that the former high. If you go right through it, unlike a cup, which really is a more determined move, a V-shaped pattern is like a rocket. So stalling here is going to be very important. And I think I mentioned last week that I thought it was a pretty important week for a lot of areas. It, it included the, um, the, the dollar which had made that pattern also a cup formation kind of stalled. But I think it has a chance to get to the 98s at some point fairly soon, in a couple of weeks, um, holding very well if you look at the weekly and, and the um, monthly charts. So this is very select. We are still along the IYT, which is the transportation index, another cup formation. The difference here is that when it took out the left side high for 192.27 uh, of uh, February, this time it's gone to 193.78, and the pattern is a little bit more stable than the Dow. Look at the stochastic, how it's holding steady at 91%. So I think this is very selective. I think that uh, you got, if you long, we are long still a number of positions. I like those positions. I, I would like to add to them. I just mentioned the grains to you a lot, uh, for a couple of weeks now. The grains have been grains have been holding pretty well at this point, and we have. Uh, a fund, an ETF that actually is part of the, the grain complex. So I like that. Very selective and very uh, on the downside. I don't want to be saying everything's going down. It's very selective on the downside at this moment as well. It'll gather a lot of strength if the VIX index finally is able to rally and then hold its gains. It's up. It's at 14.32. If the VIX gets to 15, one has to be very careful. But at this point, this is the beginning of a move. And folks, the way you get Basil's newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN. You go into featured content. You're going to see the opening call right there. Check it out. Subscribe right here, right now. Basil, you have a great night, safe night. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Same to you, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>